Holy zooks. It kind of looks like the Great Gazoo. Do you remember that? From That was the Jetsons? I'm dating myself now. But anyway, I got a chance to sit in this. I'm going to put that at the end of the video. But first thing I want to point out. So this is capable of driving either forward or reverse. And we are at the back of the vehicle. And it's capable of up to 75 miles, either forward or reverse. But if it does change direction, so does the legal status of it. Those reflectors there will flip so that you now is the rear of the vehicle. So if right now this is the rear of the vehicle, legally, it's got tail lights, but you can see in there, there are projector, projector headlights in there. So if it decides to turn and go in the opposite direction, it will flip the headlights to this way and the taillights to that way, and those little things will flip so there are no longer any reflectors. I guess it has to have license plates front and rear. Some states require that, some don't. But that's just an interesting feature. You can see the wheels, they're very skinny. Reminds me of the BMW i3. And the whole fairing will turn. Uh, this is a this is a four-wheel steering vehicle. Another feature that I had to ask about are these here. You can see, I was wondering, are those ultrasonic? Close. They are speakers, 32 speakers front and 32 speakers rear. It is a directional sound system. So it can do a variety of things if, you know, it has to have a low speed vehicle warning sound, but in, rather than just a boring tone or a groan or whatever, it could be directional, focused on the pedestrians walking by. Really cool stuff. Uh, another thing, there are radar sensors in here, an undisclosed amount of radar sensors, but they're all behind that uh, shiny black plastic. Let's look at one of the four pods here that are on this vehicle. They have an excellent view of the surrounding environment. So you can see this is a, um, uh, this is actually an infrared sensor is what they told me. This is a long range camera, so you can see it's a, a fairly big lens. This is a downward facing LIDAR sensor with uh, two washer jets, so in case it gets dirty. And then you have another LIDAR sensor up top. So the top LIDAR sensor is focused on long range. You have four of them providing a 360 degree view of the surrounding area. And then the LIDAR sensors that are pointed downward give you that visibility to make sure you're not driving over something near the wheels that are uh, not can't be seen by the top lidar sensors see as you can see another camera pointing at me now over here this is a microphone so if you had to communicate with the telus assist operators uh, autonomous vehicle fleets like this waymo may mobility and now zooks they do have human operators monitoring and they can speak to the passengers, speak to emergency personnel if there's some kind of accident to tell them what to do, or even intervene if they have to, if the vehicle encounters a situation it can't handle. You can see as people get in and out, the uh, suspension rising and lowering, it does have an active suspension system and they tell me the ride is really great. By the way, these are going to be driving up and down the Las Vegas Strip uh, in the weeks to come. This is a limited audience. So these are Zooks employees. Then they'll expand that to family members and so on and so forth. So you can see here, I told you the, um, the white, because this is the legally the front of the vehicle at the moment, and there are no reflectors down there. But if we did want to change direction, bam, put the reflectors, flip it around. Also, radiators front and rear, battery electric vehicles. This is a battery electric vehicles uh, vehicle. It doesn't have as much waste heat as a combustion engine. That's why they're more efficient, but it does generate some heat. It also needs air conditioning and heating for the cold weather and warm weather. Up top, you can see there are two pods. Those are antenna arrays underneath, as well as a long range camera. So. And this is really the first dedicated autonomous vehicle robo taxi that we're going to see hit the roads. Going inside, you can see that there are dual sliding doors. I said it's shorter than the old BMW i3, but much roomier inside for four riders. 
There is no driver, no steering wheel, no pedals. This was designed to be an SAE level four or five autonomous vehicle from the ground up, designed to maximize space for the riders. Each of the four riders has a touchscreen display. You can see one here. This one adjusts the map so you can see where you're going and the ETA. There's also ability to adjust music and climate functions. I did not see heated seats. I think that would be a nice touch, but then again, I'm a Northern climate guy. Side visibility and sky visibility are really good. At night, that starry sky much, must look really good. All the displays allow the rider to end the trip if they want or to call for assistance from teleguidance. You can see there's a camera there. Zooks would want to monitor the riders to make sure nothing weird happens. There are functional cup holders and wireless charging pads. That's a nice touch. Of course, there are seat belts, plus there are anchors for child seats. Seats and materials are sparse. Simply put, it's meant to clean easily and to survive lots of butts in seats. In the event of an accident, the compartment fills with foam, like in the movie Demolition Man. Nah, it's, it's just another old movie reference. It has curtain airbags that surround each of the riders safely. So I traveled exactly zero miles and loved my Zooks experience. I have driven in the Waymo and May Mobility autonomous vehicles, so you can check out those videos. And I'm definitely looking forward to my first real ride in Zooks, hopefully soon.